In this video, I'm going to show you guys three easy steps on how you can improve on controller. The first is to either learn Claw or upgrade your controller. Personally, I play on Claw on a custom controller. If you can't afford a custom controller, then feel free to play on Claw. However, if you can afford to buy a custom controller, then I highly recommend getting from Cinch Gaming. I do have to mention that I'm not sponsored by Cinch Gaming whatsoever. I've just been a long time user of their controllers and I absolutely love them. Their controllers are one of the best in the market with features like back buttons and mouse click triggers. I personally felt that my editing speed was significantly faster on controller as soon as I started playing with the Cinch controller. So if you want to purchase one for yourself, then head on over to the Cinch Gaming website using the link in the description. And at checkout, you can use my affiliate code BUFFALO for some money off of any purchases you make on the store. But once again, Claw, in my opinion, is the better option since it's free and it's relatively easy to learn. So if you're still on non-claw and non-paddle, then that's gotta change first and foremost. The second is to adapt to the controller and start playing like an actual controller player. I see way too many people play like a mouse and keyboard player and that's honestly stunting their growth. Watching professional players like Reed can give you an idea of what it's like to abuse movement and aim on controller. These are factors that, if used well, can give you a competitive advantage over mouse and keyboard players. A lot of mouse and keyboard pros like Clicks, Peterbot, and Muzz have all stated that playing against a controller player like Reed is extremely difficult purely because their mechanics are unorthodox and it's not easily anticipated. The third is to go to an edit course and consistently practice your wall, floor, stair, and cone edits. These can be the most basic edits possible, but just by practicing these small edits can make a big difference to your overall performance in game. You can never over practice, keep practicing the basics and build up that consistency. Missing edits in crucial points in game will cost you a lot. So just by practicing in creatives for 15 minutes a day, you can literally prevent yourself from losing an entire match going back to the lobby, and waiting another 2-3 to three minutes to get into a game. So that is pretty much it for the video. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you learned something new. Thank you for watching, and I will see you all in the next video. Goodbye.